So a lot of people have asked me why I do the videos that I do, and why I got into the missing person cases. I will answer you and give all of you a little background. I learned from a young age that bad things happen and not to trust anyone. My Aunt Allison from Arizona was a beautiful glowing person, inside and out. I never did actually get to meet her. I was born in July of 1981 and sadly she disappeared in December of 1980. The events that led to the murder of Allison Mims began with a wedding. On December 23, 1980, Allison's mother, my grandmother, wedding was in Glendale, Arizona. And that is where Allison vanished from. Among the guests, that night was a family friend named Patrick Ryan. Ryan was drunk and asked Allison to drive him home, but Allison did not want to. After a while, she agreed to take Ryan home so that he got home safely. Ryan's home was in Glendale, Arizona, and Allison was never heard from again, and the last reported sighting of her was leaving her mother's wedding party to take Ryan home. Allison was driving a cream-colored 1974 Oldsmobile that was registered in her grandmother's name. On April 10, 1981, a security guard at Phoenix Baptist Hospital seen a car that was left in the hospital parking lot for more than three months and had it towed away. Because the vehicle's registration was traced to Allison's grandmother, who had passed away at the hospital prior to Allison's disappearance, they assumed it had been there since Allison's grandmother's passing. In June, 1981, the car was sold to a woman who discarded some of the things left in the car. Among the contents was two purses with no identifying information in them. She also found a woman's watch on the front floorboard which was later identified by Allison's family as belonging to her, and a receipt for a 1979 tire purchase by Allison. Immediately after the wedding, Patrick Ryan, the man she drove home that night, unexpectedly left for New Mexico. In May 1987, a horseback rider discovered a partial skull in the desert near I-17 and Carefree Highway. It was not until 2010 that investigators identified the remains and bone fragments as belonging to Allison Mims. Patrick Ryan was apprehended in New Mexico in October 2010 for first-degree murder and attempted sexual assault of Allison Mims. In 2014, Ryan was sentenced to a term of 18 years in the Arizona Department of Corrections. Ryan pled guilty to second-degree murder and acknowledged that he strangled Allison to death in December 1980.